Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Welcome back to Wobble and Joy Sports. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to... Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I'm not. I'm on the BKR Sports channel. Hey guys, how you going? Once again, BKR Sport has had me or has got me on this channel and I'm trying to compose myself because the past 90 odd minutes or so was insane uh, between the Cowboys and Titans, stifling conditions. But we're not here to talk about that game. We're here to talk about the next contest, which is due to kick off in approximately seven minutes' time. Canberra Raiders versus the Parramatta Eels. And uh, this one looks like we're going to see round five finish with an absolute thriller. But uh, let me just go into the uh, chat first and uh, say hello to everybody. We've got Bryson in the chat. Uh, Titans will win against the Cowboys. You very freaking nearly did, didn't you? Yes. Uh, we got... Benjamin, uh, a different Benjamin saying, go Raiders. Got a couple of Raiders supporters in here. Uh, we've got a Parramatta Eels fan that says, uh, Titans stayed in the fight and didn't give up. Yeah, uh, Cowboys uh, winning 35 points to 22 in a really tough game. I think that's one of the more oppressive matches I've I've seen uh, in a very long time at the very least. Uh, it looks like it was 32 degrees. It looked like it was 75% uh, plus humidity. And uh, credit to the Gold Coast Titans, that was their best effort for 2024 thus far. And uh, they got within six points of the Cowboys, but through a Kyle Felt intercept uh, with approximately 10 minutes remaining, uh, that he kind of sealed it for us. But then Chad obviously got the field goal for the North Queensland Cowboys in the end. So thank you, everybody that's in the chat right now. There's about 35 of you. So um, I hope you're not disappointed that BKR isn't here. Um, obviously, he's up in Townsville. And, mate, oh, boy, howdy. What a what an effort the Titans just put in. Uh, fair dinkum. I was. I think we were all on the edge of our seat for for a moment or two there. Uh, we got uh, 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 Jay Hayes in the chat. Hey man, you're one of the moderators, so it's good to see you again. Tell BKR I need me fifty bucks by next week. All right. He owes me because that's the money that you put in. Uh, credit to the Titans. Caden says absolutely. Absolutely. David Fafida uh, was huge uh, just then. And I think that uh, AJ Brimson, the centre experiment for AJ Brimson is over. How does he get more involved? What's going to happen? Well, I'll leave that for Des to decide. But you got to get AJ more involved, don't you? Um, and before I continue as well, I realize this is a Gold Coast Titans channel, so I'll try and re restrict myself a little bit here. But AJ Brimson, he can't. He, he can't be a center anymore, man. Uh, Caden says, I honestly thought it was going to be 30, 40, six game. Uh, yo, yeah, absolutely. Nearly freaking did too. Slapper. G'day, Slapper. How you going, mate? Um, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, me, myself, I went out to uh, me local. Uh, well, not to me local, but there was a game between the... Uh, who are they? The, the Logan South Magpies and the Mackay Cutters female teams uh, in the BMD Premiership, the Savos. So that's why maybe I'm looking a bit red and a little bit tan. So that's good. So I saw me Mackay Cutters uh, get up uh, 26 to 16 in some really wet, tricky conditions uh, for themselves too. Um, so that was cool. That was cool. But um, it was also a little less stressful than watching that freaking game too, just quietly. Uh, Brocky, hey man, how you going? Uh, and... Chris says he hates the Eels, but he doesn't know why he's picking them. It's a 50-50 uh, flip of the coin, man. Uh, we're going to get into the team list for both these sides in just a tick. Um, but it looks like it's straight down the middle. Uh, Jaden, he says, good win for the Cows. Was it a good win? Was it a good, a good, a good win for the Cows? Oh, uh, I'll remind him, mate. I probably Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Indeed. Uh, Jesse, David Fafita and Jaden Campbell were great, but I think it's a shame that they struggled to get points on the board until they were only 12 men on the cows. Or the other side of the coin is, is that you guys put some points on when we uh, when uh, when we were a man down and you guys looked really sharp. You guys looked so, so, uh, a lot more sharp. Uh, BKO will spend uh, your 50 on a pizza. Oh, what a... What a son, what an SOB, what an SOB, eh? Uh, William Hunt, g'day, Sam. Uh, that last 15 minutes got you sweating a bit, didn't it? Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely it did. So I'll just go into 
my share screen. Stand by in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go through the team list. So today, Canberra Raiders versus the Parramatta Eels at GIO Stadium. The Raiders are $1.78 favourites. There's a little bit of value on the Parramatta Eels. I think this is going to be a very close 1-12 to kind of a style game. Uh, Parramatta Eels sitting at $2.08. Let's, uh, let me just quickly refresh this and get the most up-to-date news. So Varpana, Schiller and Savage are the back three for the Raiders. Timiko and Chris are the centres. Strange and Fogarty are the halves. Papali'i, Tarpani and Levi are the front row. Young and Mariotta and Smithies are the back row. So Mariotta comes in for both Zach Hosking and Elliot Whitehead. So with all due respect, Mariotta uh, is the third string, second row option here for the Raiders, uh, starting in Jersey 12. Tom Starling, Horsburgh, Simu Sasagi and Pasami Solo uh, in Jersey 17 with KO Weeks in Jersey 18. And considering the injuries and everything else that we've seen so far this weekend, that might be a pretty uh, astute selection for Weeks to be the 18th man. Going into the Parramatta Eels now, Captain Clint Gutherson, Sivo and Russell are the back three. Penasini and Simonson are the centres. Simonson returning to the Raiders, um, taking on his old club. Blaze Talangi and Dylan Brown are the halves. I think Dylan Brown, if Parramatta Eels win tonight, I think Dylan Brown is going to explode. I'm a bit weary about how uh, Dylan Brown might go tonight. So he's hoping for a good game from him. Regan Campbell-Gillard, Wiramu Greg starts in Jersey 15. Junior Polo, uh, I assume, comes off the bench. And Joey Lusick is the hooker. Lane Matteson and Hopgood starts this weekend. Those are the back. That's the back row. And so it's Polo, Moretti, Joe Afahengawe, and Kama Tuolangi with Morgan Harper in a jersey number 22. So what do you guys reckon is going to happen today? Let's see some more tips come through. And uh, I won't turn the volume up just because I don't want the um, the uh, the YouTube bots coming through. But she looks like a healthy old crowd out there at Canberra Stadium. And to the 54 people uh, that are coming in, thank you very much uh, for uh, choosing BKR Sport. And hope you can... Um, uh, uh, subscribe to his channel and my channel as well. I'm just noticing a little bit of lag uh, in my on my side of things. Uh, am I still coming across well? And I, I audio, my visuals seem to be lacking, but I hope uh, my audio is coming across well. Um, I apologise for that. That's not been the case ever. So if you can, or if someone can verify for me, um, if the audio is good, if I'm coming through to you guys, all right. Um, that's fantastic. So I apologize for the lag in my visuals, but if I am coming through mint, uh, I guess that is the, the, the main, the main play there. So, uh, we've got kickoff coming up in just a moment or so. Again, I apologize for the visuals. This doesn't, uh, happen, unfortunately, but as long as me audio is good, um, that's, that's one of the better things. So, alrighty. So it looks like the Raiders are going to. Okay, there we go. It looks like that's just come back to life a little bit. Alrighty, so the Raiders look like they're about to kick off. And the Raiders are going to run right to left. Parramatta are going to receive, and we got kickoff underway. Parramatta running left to right, and through Wiramu Greg, he charges into the Raiders defensive line, and the Raiders defensive line takes him back approximately five metres, a statement made immediately by the Raiders. And Ryan Madison, he's sort of met with the same fate. He gets up over the 10, but he gets pushed back to it. Play the ball. Here's Regan Campbell-Gillard with a good uh, nine-metre carry there. Nearly got upended into a dangerous tackle, but play on. The ball continues to go out further left. And Sean Lane makes a good 10-meter run. A nice little bit of a recovery here for the Parramatta Eels. Fourth tackle, hop good. And he's met solidly, obviously, and is stopped just short of the 40-meter line. And through Dylan Brown, inside their own 40, he boots it. And it's taken by Xavier Savage with a bit of a bubble there. And he makes up some good ground getting up to the 20 meter line after he took it uh, inside of his own 10. Um, got unbranded um, it in the chat. Uh, I feel, Slapper says, I feel a Raiders big first half, then a big second half fade. Oh dear. Andrew, evening, morning. BK looks different tonight. <laughs> Yo, dude. Yo. Uh, and uh, Fleury Strads Howard. 
uh, account that last game was a win for a Titan, no longer from bottom of the ladder. Uh, it, it was not a win. It was not a win, thank goodness for that. Um, Cowboys winning 35 points to 22. Um, all right, so fourth tackle here, and Smithies puts Papali'i back under. All right, so last tackle, and the, Cow and the Raiders got into Parramatta territory. And through Jamal Fogarty, they kick inside Parramatta's 40. Oh, yep, Parramatta's 40. And it's taken there by Sevo, a good um, competition there between Schiller and Sevo, out on the far left edge of GIO Stadium. And Simonson now, oh, good run, tough run, up over the 20-meter line, play the ball. And Sean Russell getting up to the 30-meter line. They're still out on the left of GIO Stadium and through Regan Campbell Gillard, a strong 10 meter carry, getting him up to the 40 meter line. Passes left from center field. Hopgood dummies to pass left, but he takes the tackle himself and gets up over the 50 meter line. Center of GIO Stadium, Dylan Brown kicks from the left hand side and it comes down on the 10 meter line with Jordan Rapp and he takes it on his own 10, arcs his run, he's going back to go forward and he's going to be stopped on the 10 center field and he actually gets up hobbling as well unfortunately Rapana Xavier Savage able to make five meters and the phase continues to go out left with Hudson Young I believe that is yes so they're about 22 meters out from their own line they're on the left edge Canberra's are running right to left and Sebastian Chris is stopped by Parramatta so it's a good defensive set here from Parramatta not too many meters on offer for the Raiders, and here's Tarpane to advance up over the 30 meter line. And on last tackle, Fogarty kicks from inside of zone 40. It goes high. It's a massive kick. Gee whiz, Fogarty has imp uh, has improved his kicking game this off season. And Gutherson takes it, and he gets up to the 20 meter line. It looks like Rapana at fullback for the Raiders is going to be a, a scratching. Uh, something happened in that collision there, unfortunately. Uh, so Mike Acevo, second tackle, play the ball on the 30-meter line. Uh, and I think that's Sean Russell that gets up over the 30-meter line. All right, and there's an attempt at a 40-20 here from Joey Lusick. And it was a poor kick in the end. Savage was aware of it. That's good awareness. And Savage has gotten into Parramatta Eels territory. He's going to be tackled tackle one um, on the 40-meter line. Hudson Young now. Advances approximately seven meters. They're on the attack here. They're about 33 meters out on the left edge. Raiders again running right to left. Levi goes right, finds Smithies. And he's going to be stumped just shy of the 20 meter line. Danny Levi, long cutout pass to Papali'i. Fogarty out the back to Savage, who's found his way all the way out on the right edge. Schiller now. Oh, what's the call here? Everything just stopped. Schiller crossed the line but it's been a forward pass. Oh, wow, that was really cool by Xavier Savage. All the way from the left edge, found his way on the right edge for the uh, for the camp of Raiders, um, acting as the fullback for Rapina, obviously. And Savage looked good, just, yeah, no, it was definitely a forward pass for sure. All righty, I should update me banner in just a moment. Uh, and if you are new to BKR or if I am new to you, um, I hope I can get you to consider to come over and check me out or... Uh, subscribe to BKR and or subscribe to BKR as well. That is shocking stuff to say that Rapina um, is down for the count. Oh, man, that looks awful. It, it looks like his knee as well. Um, I hope it's not um, an ACL. All righty. So second tackle, and the ball is with Sean Lane. He's going to play the ball 35 meters out from his own try line. And Regan Campbell-Gillard, strong start to the game. That's a 15-meter odd carry there. Uh, so he's going to play the ball right in the center of J.O. Stadium. Lusick goes left, finds Brown, sh uh, short flat ball to Sean Lane. And Lane is tackled on the 40-meter line. They're inside Raiders territory here. And Dylan Brown. On the Raiders 40, puts it sky high. Chris is at the back. He takes it well, and he's able to get out of the in-goal area. There's going to be some tough yards here for the Camper Raiders, but Timiko is up to the task. And also the discipline for the Parramatta Eels have absolutely buggered them as well, unfortunately. 
So the Raiders get uh, get out of jail card um, go their way. So after seven minutes, it's still nil all. It's a hard hitting game so far, but nothing too much else to report on besides the fact that Rapina looks like he's done his knee. That sucks, man. That really, really sucks. Now, I apologize for my visuals. This doesn't uh, happen, but as long as I'm still coming in uh, strong with the audio, that's okay. Alrighty. So we got Danny Levi waiting. A dummy after he passes left to Papa Lee. Good carry there from Papa Lee to get uh, up to the 45, up to probably about the 45, still inside their own territory, but through Hudson Young, they get up over the halfway line. Raiders running right to left. And play the ball comes on the far left edge. Tarpane out the back to Fogarty. He puts Atta Mariotta back under, and Mariotta will play it on the 40 meter line in Parramatta Eels territory. Fourth tackle, flat pass to Sebastian Chris but he makes about 10 metres between he and Levi. Fogarty on the 30-metre line puts it up for James Schiller. Schiller versus Sivo, and it looks like a knock-on from Sivo, and it's going to be a six again here for the Canberra Raiders. Waiting for a play the ball from Adam Mariotta. It comes, Dan Danny Levi passes to Tarpane, and Tarpane approaches the 10-metre line. Second tackle. Center field. That's a really queer play. The ball. Um, I don't. It's, so it's going to be a penalty. So, do you take the two here? Do you take the two here? Or are they going to? No, they're going to take the two. Alrighty. So d ill discipline from the Parramatta Eels the past two minutes or so as advanced camper way up the field and then an error. Uh, as well included in all of that from Mike Acevo, uh through a good kick from Fogarty, uh, is going to have the Canberra Raiders go up 2-0 after approximately nine minutes of play. It's not a bad start to this game. It's not a bad start at all. Uh, Parramatta, they do look dangerous, but obviously you've got to see a little bit more from them. I'll just go into the uh, comments as well. Uh, Poor, poor Fuller BKR, lucky to not be roadkill. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, g'day, Ollie. G'day, Ollie. How you doing, man? Thank you for coming in and saying g'day. Uh, put Savage at fullback for the super coach points. And John Davis, dude with the Cowboys merch on. Yo, dude. Yo. Um, and alrighty. I'm pretty sure where I go. I don't know. Yo, cool. Turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. Alrighty. Hopefully that worked as well. Alrighty. So two points to nil. Alrighty. Two points to nil after 10 minutes or so. And Tarpany gets up to the 10 meter line. Out on the left edge or a little bit to the left. And now Tarpany looks injured. Oh man, round five. This is injury round, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. This is injury round. Kieran Foran going down today. Zach Laybutt allegedly doing his ACL. Rapina going off with a knee after a couple of minutes. And now Tarpany. He's looking concerned too. Oh, man. And then last night with the Dolphins, Flegler and Farnworth as well. But I think Flegler's might, I think Flegler might be all right, actually. Uh, Papaliti, up over the 30. Uh, Canberra, third tackle inside their own 30. And Smithies is going to be tackled by Blaze Talungi. Hasn't Blaze Talungi been thrown into the fire? Strange passes left to uh, Simi Sasangi, and I think Simi Sasangi may have lost the ball. No, it's play on. Well, I think he dropped it a little bit there. Here's a special kick from Fogarty, twisting like a tornado, and Gutho takes it on his own 10. Great kick, great take uh, from Fogarty and Gutherson, respectively. 
on righty. And Gutho is going to play the ball eventually uh, on about 27 metres out from his own try line. Sean Russell now gets up over the 30 metre line. Classic weights. Passes left infield. Here's Simonson now. He's met there by his old teammates as he gets up to the 40 metre line. Actually, a, little, a couple of metres beyond it too. Lasek passes right, finds Hopgood. Hopgood dummies and gets up to the halfway line. A little bit beyond that too. Fourth tackle. Lasek goes right. Campbell Gillard passes right even further into Ryan Madison. And that's about a good 15 metre play there for the Parramatta Eels. The play, the ball's going to come on the 30 metre line on the right edge of GIO Stadium. Long ball centre field into Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown puts it up for Sebastian Chris, who's playing fullback. And Chris, oh man, Sean Russell puts Chris's noggin on the touch line. And uh, it's going to be a six again. It's going to be a fresh set here for the Parramatta Eels. Um, Alrighty, that was a decent set. I, I, I think I, I think I'm starting to I think I'm starting to warm up to Parramatta Eels actually in this game, and I tipped the Raiders to be uh, honest with you. Uh, Omega, can you read my comment? There you go, mate. No worries. Leave another one, and I'll read the next comment too. Uh, Nath J, I got Raiders 13 plus, but I'm having doubts now with the injuries. Not friggin' wrong, man. Not friggin' wrong at all. So uh, Parramatta Eels now. Fresh set of six, right underneath the sticks. Wiramu Greg just drops the ball cold, unfortunately, for Parramatta Eels. That is a Barry. That's a, that is a Barry. Yeah, just um, besides Rapiner and the scare of an injury to Tarpana, who looks to be okay, excuse me. Um, not too much to report on. There's really not too much to report on. Uh, we got uh, Sydney FC fan, BKR. He's in Townsville and he's asked me to uh, do the commentary. So um, I hope I hope I'm doing a good job. Uh, even though the visuals are kicking my ass at the moment, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, play the ball now. First tackle. They're about 12 minutes out from their own try line of the Raiders. And uh, it looks like, I think that's Adam Mariotta, second tackle. Ball comes infield. Morgan Smith is now set upon very quickly. Parramatta Eels defensively are really getting up there quickly in their face. Ethan Strange steps off his right, breaks the line of the Parramatta Eels defense from deep within his own territory. Hudson Young with a flick pass, if you don't mind, to Simi Sasangi. And Simi Sasangi with a flick of his own. Oh, my goodness. What a try from the Canberra Raiders. Rule, forward passes cannot be ruled upon. Ethan Strange with the step inside of his own 30 breaks the Paramount Eels defensive line, makes 30 of his own before he passes left to Hudson Young. Hudson Young showing a bit of toe himself. Decides to flick it. I don't know why he flicked it for. He could have scored himself. But in any event, Simi Suzangi's flick pass has been ruled passed back. And it's going to be a try to Sebastian Chris to kick things off. Well, that's fantastic from Strange because Paramount Eels were on top big time. And I think with a few more looks to the replays and stuff, we've got to see if it was forward from. Sasangi. Yeah, yeah, it did go back, didn't it, man? It did go back, man. Wow, what a try. Hudson Young made that a little bit harder for him than what it really... Well, man, Hudson Young really nearly blew it for him in the end, didn't it? Didn't he? Yeah, he didn't him. Um, got... Andrew back here. Say Wobble and draw. Good win for the boys uh, last game. I hope Parramatta boys get the win. Oh, man. Sydney FC fan going to the State of Origin game one. Where's that one at, mate? Where's that one at? I can't remember. Uh, we've got uh, so many bomber flick passes this round that didn't need to be thrown. Yeah, but Zach Lomax didn't get lucky on Friday night too, just quietly. Uh, Yorker. 
uh, you'll never be allowed in here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to read that one out loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, all righty. So eight points to nil. Huge play from Ethan Strange in the Canberra Raiders. Eight points to nil after 15 minutes of play. And it came out of nowhere. It, the momentum had not been with the Raiders uh, for about five or so minutes there. All righty. And Savage takes it. Raiders running right to left. And Josh Papali'i, he's had a he's had a strong start to the game himself, uh, but he's set upon nicely by the white jumpers of the Parramatta Eels. And Morgan Smithies, if it wasn't for Wiramu Greg, he would have broken the line. And now Morgan Smithies is concerned about a knee or an ankle, but I think he'll tough it out here. Savage up over the 20-meter line at center field. Third tackle now. Just waiting for the play the ball, and here's Tarpany. He gets up to the 30, and a bit beyond it. Plays the ball. Fourth tackle, Josh Papali'i just carries it himself again. I reckon that's got to be his sixth hit up. He actually gets the offload away too, Sebastian Chris. Gets up over the 40-meter line, up to the halfway line too. Here we go, Raiders. Danny Levi passes right, finds Jamal Fogarty, kicking from inside Parramatta Eagles territory now. And it's just allowed to bounce, but the referee's called for a penalty. I think um, I think that's fair enough too. Schiller, I think, escorted Mike Acebo or, or somebody as well. All righty. Thank you, Jamo. Thank you, bro. All righty. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, apologies for my visuals as well, but if my audio is still coming through, um, that's that 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 is a positive. But um, it's a good game. It's a good game so far. A couple of errors, but here's Simon Senya. Tap. Gets up to the halfway line. On the left edge of the paddock, Parramatta Eels running left to right. And Brown puts up good back under, only for about a five-minute carry. Looks like Junior Polo is about to come back on or come on for the first time today, I should say. He's Gutherson now up over the 40-meter line. They're 35 meters out from the try line of the Parramatta Eels. A flat pass to Regan Campbell-Gillard. He's had a great start to the game himself. That's got to be over 15-meter carry there for Regan Campbell-Gillard. Play the ball. Hop good now. Out the back to Brown. Out the back to Talangi. He steps off his right, tried the, the pass, and it hit a Raiders body, and it bounced backwards. So... A bit of a bonus there uh, for the Canberra Raiders. And I think that's Simi Sasangi on the ground who's injured himself. Injuries coming thick and fast, aren't they? All right, you're just updating the banner. Uh, Cobb's mind fan 27. My Cowboys fan feels good to see them win. Yes, mate, especially after the disastrous performance last Friday night. It's um it's relieving, but they uh they absolutely made us um us Cowboys fans sweat it out today too, didn't they? Um I am, bro. I am a massive Cowboys fan. So all all in good fun, all in good jest. Um I hope BKR's uh not doing too badly up there. I'm sure he's very, very proud of his Gold Coast Titans performance today, uh, which was their best um, of the season. And to the 62, uh, wow, 62 people that are in right now, thank you very much for uh, choosing BKR Sports Channel. And uh, I hope I can get you to consider to zip over to my channel as well uh, and, uh, after you've subscribed and liked um, to BKR Sport on all social media platforms as well. Uh, so second tackle here for the Canberra Raiders, out on the far right edge, over the 20 meter line, and now Matt Timoko advances it up over the 30 meter line. A great carry there from the young man. Hopgood coming in a bit late and a bit low, but I think that's fair enough. Play the ball on the 40 meter line, actually. Cut out past to Tarpany. Tarpany, can he get the offload off? He does to Danny Levi. He passes right. Fogarty continues to go out right even further to Adam Mariotta. And now it looks like Mariotta is going to be injured too with potentially a hip drop tackle by Bailey Simonson. Holy smokes, this game is stop and start. But Parramatta Eels are all high-fiving each other. Is it a lost ball from Adam Moriota? 
No, Adam Moriarty just. No, it's not a hip drop. Just it's just terrible luck, unfortunately. Be interesting to see what's ruled here, but no, I don't think that is a hip drop. Uh, apologies, but still, that sucks, man. No, cameras on the ref. What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Was it hip drop? Because he didn't sit on the legs or the ankles of Adam Moriata, did Simonson? We're just waiting for a decision to come and we're waiting for Adam Moriata. Take all the time in the world too, just quietly. It's all good. I'll tell you what. Game of the year so far came on Thursday night, didn't it? Between the Storm and the Broncos. That was insane. A real high quality game of footy between the Storm and the Broncos. Um, with the Storm, look, they got the win, but the Broncos, I would suggest, were probably the better team. Uh, and Ezra Mam really came to life too in that game. Got John Davis just saying that it's probably just a bad accident. That's fair enough. Well, at least Mariota looks like he's walking solidly enough, but so what's happening here? So because that Mariota was in agony, he let go of the ball too quickly. And so it's ruled a knock on, is it? Or was that last? Oh, okay, so Parramatta Eels now. From 40 meters out, scrum to the more center field. Simonson now gets up to the 30 meter line. A lot of post contact meters here for Parramatta Eels. Out on the left edge, they're about 27 meters away. Here's Sean Lane getting up into the meat of the green machine. And now they're about 15 meters out with a play of the ball coming on the left edge. Lusick passes right, finds Hopgood, passes left again into Regan Campbell Gillard, who's been strong today so far. Um, Ball comes out right. Dylan Brown uh, cuts back, switches the play back into the left-hand side to hop good. It's fourth tackle. Play the ball is going to come right next to the sticks. Lusick, long pass out to the left to Dylan Brown. Further cut out pass to Gutherson. He puts Michael Sivo back under out on the left edge. And Sivo just has to succumb uh, to a tackle in fear of obstruction. Lusick now on the left edge, passes right, finds Dylan Brown. He puts in a cross-field kick, looking for Ryan Madison. Regan Campbell-Gillard being the primary runner there. And Regan Campbell-Gillard knocked Xavier Savage midair. I don't know anybody knew what was going on, man, just quietly. Um, Slapper, I think you love para. Yo, yo. Um, I don't think anyone knew what kind of play was coming if, of all players, Regan Campbell-Gillard was the primary runner for it, like fair dinkum. I'm just going to update me Dana, my, my Dana, my banner. All right, so 8-0, 21, 21 minutes gone. Para, they don't look bad, but that completion to the set just then didn't look good. Uh, Simi Sasangi now, uh, play the ball. Inside Parramatta Eels territory. And through Josh Papali'i, they're about 37 meters away from the try line. Play the ball. Tarpani gets up to the 30, over it by about four, five meters. Third tackle, center field. Danny Levi waits. He passes right. Raiders running right to the left. And Josh Papali'i again. Man, maybe he's eighth or ninth. Oh, but he's offloaded. And Hopgood, no, it's a strip. It's a strip. It's being ruled a strip. Is there a captain's challenge coming? There's a captain's challenge coming. There could have been, it, it could have just been an offload from Papa Lee. Uh, Sam, do you think that is tackled in the air? I don't think it was tackled in the air, but I think Regan Campbell Gillard just, just wasn't aware enough to, to stick clear of him, sort of thing. Uh, he just made contact with him. It wasn't a tackle in the air, it just made contact with him. Obviously, not the worst you've ever seen, but. Enough to blow the penalty, and that's that's fair enough. 
and the challenge is successful here. So it was an attempt at offload from Papali'i and it was dived upon by Hopgood. So they survived there, the Parramatta Eels, and through Junior Polo now, nice 10 meter carry to get up to his own 30 meter line. Play the ball. Faze goes out left. Here's Hopgood again. He offloads backwards and last sec he bobbled it. Um, but Tarpany, he wraps him up. So they start again on the 30 meter line. Gutherson darts out a dummy half and able to make a, a nice 13 meter odd run there uh, for Parramatta Eels. For the Parramatta Eels. Uh, play the ball. Lasik passes right, finds Hopgood, and Hopgood feigned to pass right, but the defense was there. Six again uh, for the Parramatta Eels. All right, so they're 45 out. Blaze Talungi runs, puts Madison back under, spins out of a couple of different tackles, primarily Joe Tarpane. And the first tackle is 35 meters out. And it's found its way all the way in the hands of Dylan Brown, who's playing its left center, even though he's got half back on his back. And he's going to be tackled right next to the touchline on the far left edge. Uh, the Eels running left to right. Simonson now, he's having an okay game himself. Able to offload on for his own 10 to Regan Campbell Gillard. Campbell Gillard passes right to Junior Polo, and Polo is inches short from scoring a try right underneath the sticks. Lasik goes out, finds Dylan Brown, Talangi. Will Penasini, great tackle from Simi Sasangi, but it's six again uh, for the Parramatta Eels. Here's Sean Russell with a dart out of dummy half. Second tackle. Talangi, Campbell Gillard, Polo. It's just going across the line at the moment. And a great tackle from, I think, Matt Timiko. Oh, I, could, I thought he might have forced the error. A grubber kick's been put through for Mike Acevo. Oh, I think we've got to, we've got to see the video referee. I've got to... There's a, there's a chance that this may not be a try. Gutherson, it's going to be awarded a try for now, but we've got to see the Timiko versus Gutherson collision because uh, Gutherson looked like he may have knocked it on into the back of Matt Timiko uh, just quietly. All righty. Uh, Harrison, how's BKR? I'm not too sure, but I know he's probably hotter than Hades at the moment. That is, that's That's got to be a knock-on from uh, Clint Gutherson. Uh, Matt Timiko's noggin forced the ball out of Gutho's hands. And while it was spinning in the mid air, spinning mid air, um, he batted back. Oh, but because Tim, oh, what's the call? I don't know, man. Sorry for the silence. I'm just thinking about whether or not I'd, I, I, I would say that's a knock on from Clint Gutherson. And it looks like the decision is going to be overturned. I think that's, I think this is the right call. So Andrew Backhouse, he's making a tackle. So in my opinion, it's a knock-on from Matt Timiko. He did use his noggin, Matt Timiko. Uh, Kevin Liu, hey man, how are you going? Uh, I feel like without Moses for the next couple of weeks, we're going to lose the next few games. They're not doing too badly at the moment. No, Gutho, yo, true. Yeah, no, I think that's the right call. Well done to the bunker. They've had, in my opinion, a really... Oh, Gutho even kicked it. Gutho even kicked it. Uh, the conversion. Then it was brought back. All righty. So Raiders, 10 meters out, and they have their first tackle. See Mr. Sungi now. He's playing left center, isn't he? Savage stopped just short of the 20 meter line. Center field, here's Corey Horsburgh getting up over the 20 meter line with his first carry. I'm just going to quickly update the banner. And Ethan Strange now. Oh, he's threatening again. He's looking dangerous today, isn't he? Hudson Young, last tackle. Alrighty, so last tackle now. Danny Levi. 
Pass is right, finds Fogarty. Fogarty puts up a mean bomb for Micah Sivo, and Sivo takes it, not on his chest, but in his mitts. That's a wild catch from Micah Sivo. Simonson now he's dragged back by the Camp Raiders defense. Second tackle out on the left. And Sean Russell, I think it might have been. Gets up over the 30-meter line. Regan Campbell-Gillard, maybe his best performance so far in 2024 uh, in this first 25 minutes. Here's Blaze Talungi running, getting up over the halfway line. They're making meters, Parramatta. There's just no polish on the end of their sets, hence the Mitch Moses comment before. Chris takes the bomb almost on his own in goal, gets up over the 10, and makes a couple of meters as well. Chris set, center field, tackle one. Here's Xavier Savage now. He's had a couple of hit-ups himself. Gets up over the 20-meter line. Second tackle on the right of the paddock. And here's James Schiller. I think this might be just his first or second hit-up. And Schiller plays the ball just beyond his 30-meter line. Here's Corey Horsburgh now, up over the 40. Bounces Will Penasini away and gets up to the 15-meter line. A nice, strong carry there from Big Red. Strange passes right to Fogarty. Fogarty puts Morgan Smithies back under. Smithies able to offload. They're inside the territory of Parramatta Eels now. Strange able to run a little bit and passes the ball out of Moriota, but Simonson's there to set upon him very, very quickly. And Fogarty out of dummy half, puts in a chip kick for himself. Fogarty chasing. He gathers it back in. He's able to put in a second kick. Michael Sivo's chasing after the kick, and Sivo's got no option but to bat it dead. Fogarty's kicking game is ruining Marcus Sevo's night tonight, man. Fogarty having a strong game. Strong game. Ooh. Absolutely. Who will win, I reckon? Well, at the moment, I reckon Canberra. And I did tip him into the 68 people, the 68 people that are in right now, man. Thank you very much. And hope I can get you to consider to zip on over to my channel and uh, subscribe to BKR first as well. Short goal line dropout has not gone 10 and it has gone uh, dead out on the full uh, from the Parramatta Eels. But these days it's not a penalty. I hate that new ruling, by the way, just quietly. I hate that new ruling. I think it should be a penalty. Anyway, get back underway. And Horsburgh still fighting his way. He's going to be stopped about five meters out here. This is a huge set, isn't it? Second tackle goes out left in the hands down of Solo. Second tackle, just a little bit left of the sticks. Danny Levi passes left, finds Hudson Young, and he wrestles his way towards the try line, but he's going to be halted. They're out on the left edge of GIO Stadium. Are the Raiders? Levi passes right, finds Morgan Smith. He's feigned to pass right, but he just took the line on himself. Fourth tackle now, passes right, big red. Oh, I don't know if that was the play, but it it's stripped by Clint Gutherson. It was a six again call. I, okay, so Corey Horsburgh was clearly in a try scoring situation. Gutho was allowed to strip at the ball, but a six, a six again was blown only two seconds prior to that. Oh man, I, I don't know. I don't know. So we, anyway, we play on, it's third tackle uh, and Joe for him, Galway. Gets up to the 35 meter line. Out on the left of the paddock and Junior Polo up over the 40 by about six meters or so. Well, great play there from Clint Gutherson keeps them well and truly in the game. And Jermaine Hopgood, last tackle. So the Parramatta Eels, man, they're surviving. Dylan Brown from 40 meters out, puts it sky high. It comes down on the 10 meter line and Sebastian Chris is up to the task. Fogarty passes left, finds Matt Timiko. He steps off his left foot and goes charging into the defense. Good, strong run from Matt Timiko to get up to the 20 meter line. Fogarty, oh, it's a dummy half. Passes left, finds Schiller. Schiller goes out the back to Strange. Hudson Young now continues the face to go out to Savage. Savage finds the gap, runs diagonally, stepping, hopping, uses his speed. It is game over, but it's a great chase from Dylan Brown. Raiders scoring a long range try from. I don't know, inside their own 30-meter line. Ah, strange, young, and savage. 
they're on fire tonight. I thought maybe over the past two weeks or so, maybe they've sort of let themselves down a bit. But, oh, dude, they are on fire this evening. And Savage, great run. Great try for the Canberra Raiders. 12 nil with a kick to come. 10 minutes remaining before halftime. Holy smokes. Yeah, Schiller find, found himself in midfield, passes it to Strange, then to Young, and Young from his own 30-meter line, passed it to Savage, and Savage just found the way, just found the way, and it was game over. What a try from Savage. Yeah, that's some good stuff, bro. Uh, so we've got Harrison Whitaker. I tipped Camber as well. I thought because of the Eels' performance last week, and I figured... Canberra would get the win, but anything can happen and still can happen. But that trial was awesome, man. Um, support the jaw. <laughs> thank you, man. Nadi, thank you, man. Um, a new subscriber, thank you. Um, that That's fantastic. Thank you very much, man. Um, I won't let you down. Thank you. Uh, nice camper at home. Surely that won't lose tonight. Maybe, bro. It's still only early days. We, we just saw what the Titans almost did to the Cowboys just before. So it's sure as hell ain't game over. As Fogarty, he's lining up the conversion kick. He shoots and misses to the left. It just had a bit too much hook, unfortunately. So it remains a two converted try game, 12 points to nil. Could have been a, a three score scenario for Parramatta Eels. So that's a that's that's a miss. That's that's a bit of a large miss there from Jamal Fogarty. But Jamal Fogarty's kicking game has been exceptional tonight so far. Excuse me. Andrew Backhouse, the savage slows down, then takes off away from Brown. Absolutely. That kick was that kick restart was nearly out over the fall and Horsburgh. Charging up to the 10 meter line. Plays the ball, center field on the 10 meter line. Here's Pisami Solo. Advances it by about five meters or so. Actually, make that eight. Levi passes right, finds Adam Mariotta, gets up to the 20 meter line. Levi waits. The Raiders out on the right of the paddock. He passes left. He finds Smithies. Smithies dummied and passed and there's another low-ish kind of a tackle from Parramatta on Smithies. Levi ducks out of dummy up, passes right to Sebastian Chris, and Chris makes about 12 metres there up to the 40-metre line. Levi passes right, Fogarty inside the 40-metre line, and, oh, that's a scrubber. That's a scrub of a kick from Fogarty, unfortunately. Looking for a 40-20, uh, and Marcus Sevo now tackled on the 30-metre line uh, and on the left-hand side of the paddock with the radio of Eels running left to right. Simonson up over the... 30 meter line by a couple of meters. Gutherson passes right to Sean Russell. Russell gets to the 40 meter line. So that's not a bad carry from him. Dada me are from Lasek and all oh, met strongly from Simi Sasangi and the man underneath as well. I think that might have been big red, but it's a six again uh, for the Parramatta Eels, unfortunately for the Raiders. Offerhand Gowie now on tackle number one will play the ball. Uh, on the Raiders 40 meter line, second tackle, I should say. Uh, it'd be good times for Parramatta Eels if they I, I, if they are able to score a try. Third tackle, Blaze Talungi plays the ball. Eels are about 27 meters out here, but a scoot out of dummy R from Penasini, able to make about 15 meters. Third tackle, no, fourth tackle. Oh, and it's just a cold drop. Oh, from Luca Moretti, I think it might have been. Oh, it's just a cold drop from Mr. Moretti. Oh, they were on the friggin' attack too. Oh, dear. Just going to update me, Banner. Yeah, yeah, true. How's that not penalty for not clearing the ruck? Andrew Backhouse says that's a fair call. That's a fair call indeed, mate. I can't remember it, though, even though it was only 20 seconds ago. All righty. So scrum from the 10-meter line, center field. Goes out right. Schiller plays the ball. Sebastian Chris passes left 
to Timiko. And Timiko is met there by Junior Polo. That's a collision. Yeah, a great run there from Pasami Solo. Gets up to the 30 meter line, plays the ball center field. And it's a penalty to the Raiders. Oh, man. And Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell here, he, he touches on it. Eels have found themselves, yeah, three, maybe five times uh, in good attacking territory. And they've dropped the ball. And then the ensuing set defensively, they've, they've given a penalty away, man. All righty. Now, so play the ball now. Morgan Smithies gets up to the 40-meter line uh, approximately. So they're 40 meters out here are the Canberra Raiders. Hudson Young now able to beat two tackles. A third man as well. That's a great uh, arcing run from Hudson Young to get up to the 30-meter line. Center field, play the ball. Levi passes left to Horsburgh. Horsburgh makes about 10 meters or so. Levi continues to pass left. On the third tackle, strains up at... Strange puts up a kick and Savage there is able to make the tackle. And it's going to be a goal line dropout from the Parramatta Eels for the Canberra Raiders. All righty. Uh, Cage asks what I do for a living. Well, this is my hobby. I can't really tell you what I actually do for a living, mate, but goal line dropout is successful. Sean Lane takes it. So again, but they're still survive. Like Parramatta Eels, they're shooting themselves in the foot, but on their own goal line defensively, they've stood up. It's just the, the Raiders, they've been able to score a long range try and this, they're, they're not playing bad, the Eels, but yeah, they, they need to improve. Often Gowie plays the ball. Lustig passes right. Polo makes about a 10, 15 meter run. Fourth tackle. They're just shy of halfway. Lustig goes infield, left. Often Gowie, Gutherson, Brown, Simonson. And Simonson makes about 10 meters. So they're 33 meters away. Gutherson passes right. Finds Dylan Brown, steps off his right foot. Makes a chip kick play, but Big Red is there to take the intercept. And oh, there's a there's a fist that's flown from uh, Corey Horsburgh because he didn't like what Gutherson did. Um, but also Horsburgh looked like he may have been clipped by Dylan Brown. Oh man, Horsburgh shot his frigging fist like a bullet from a gun, looking for Gutherson just then. It nearly worked for Dylan Brown. Yeah, Brown, I think, clipped Horsburgh in the throat. Then Horsburgh, holy, unloaded. So it was a penalty for the high contact on Horsburgh. Timiko takes the tap, makes about 10 meters, just shy of halfway. Raiders are on the right edge of the paddock, and here's... Adam Ariotta to get up over the halfway line. He spins out of a tackle from off end Gowie. Second tackle here. Smithies puts Solo back under. The 35 meters out from the try line, play the ball. Third tackle. Smithies again. Wow, Smithies is having a game himself too, isn't he? Eventually to play the ball. I think there may have been a case for a leg pull there, but anyway. Uh, Solo goes out right. Fogarty cut out past to Timiko. Quick pass to Schiller. Schiller, he's got X Factor. He puts in a grabber kick for himself and Simonson. He takes the ball and it, there's going to be another short goal line dropout, uh, I assume, but there's going to be a goal line dropout coming from the Canberra Raiders, man. Uh, we've got Cape Ish. Don't worry, Canberra will pull another faders. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Because by this time, the Cronulla Sharks were already back level this time last week after the Raiders were up by a handsome lead. Just waiting for kick restart here. It is another short goal line dropout. It's batted back by Simonson. And what's the call here? Dylan Brown intercepts it, plays the ball. They're deep within their own 10 meters here, uh, 
the Parramatta Eels and Horsburgh solo driving Junior Polo back towards the goal line. There's two minutes left here. Turning the screws big time of the Raiders. Off in Gow, he plays the ball about 12 meters out from his own try line. And here's Luca Moretti, a good, strong carry, 10 meters or so. He will play the ball on his own 20 meter line. Lasek goes the short side towards Sean Lane. And that's a nice run from Lane, a, a probably a 13 meter carry there from Mr. Sean Lane. And Dylan Brown from inside his own 40. There was a charge down attempt coming from Big Red, but that's a massive kick from Dylan Brown. Massive, massive kick. Savage now takes it and he gets up over the 10. He fends away from Dylan Brown a little bit, but he hangs on like a pit bull. And that's a 20 meter carry or a 25 meter carry, I should say, for Xavier Savage. Chris now, that's about a good eight meter carry from him. There's only 90 or well, less than 90 seconds remaining. And James Schiller now with a good 15 meter run getting up to the halfway line. It's third tackle right in the center of GIO. Fogarty passes right. He finds Solo. He cuts back and makes a good 15-meter carry. Now, can he get the offload away? No. No, he can't. It's fourth tackle. Pass goes left. Horsbra. Strange. Strange. No, I think if he just ran straight, I think he could have. I think it would have been allowed. But anyway, strange. Plays the ball. Ball's in the hands of Fogarty. Fogarty shoots from 27 meters out. Field goal is successful. Field goal is successful. Isn't it funny that the Canberra Raiders, they hadn't scored a field goal in years and years and years. And Fogarty comes into the picture, and I think that may be his fourth, third or fourth field goal, uh, not just for the Raiders, but for himself uh, in history. So 13 points to nil, it will be at half time. They're completing well, are the Raiders. All right, 13 points still at half time. Impressive performance from Canberra, but I still feel that if Parramatta can hold on to the frigging pill and watch their discipline, uh, they'll they'll scream back into this well and truly. Um, but the Raiders, they are they they make they've been able to make maybe five breaks from deep within uh, deep within their field, and um, yeah, I ca capitalized too two times or so thereabouts. Great performance uh, from the Canberra Raiders. Um, all righty. Uh, Harrison, out of 10, what would you rate the Cowboys game earlier this evening? As a game, it was very stop-start. It was very, it was a bit tough to watch at times just because of how slow it was at times. Um, but then it did pick up with 20 minutes to go. There was a, there was a lot of ferocity in that final 20 minutes, but um, yeah, it was a bit of a pain uh, to watch. But for the Cowboys themselves, man, of course, of course the Cowboys leaked the most amount of points or the, of course the Cowboys were the team that leaked the most amount of points against the Gold Coast Titans side this season. You know, um, I, I'm not entirely happy, to be honest with you. I don't think any of them would be. Again, as Valentine Holmes said himself recently, uh, I think it was the game after the Brisbane Broncos last Friday night, they haven't put in a full 80-minute performance all season long, and they wanted to really focus and zone in on restricting the Titans to uh, as minimal points as possible, and the Titans... They'd only scored a try or two in each game, and the Titans looked like a, you know, they looked like a top eight side at times today. And I realized that the Cowboys were down a man, um, Chad Townsend, uh, in the sin bin for 10 minutes. But um, yeah, dude, the, the defense 
I'm, I think we are all concerned about. Uh, and Dean Young goes and we lose that edge, but we hired this defensive coach from the New Zealand Warriors, Justin Morgan. I think I, I believe I think that's his name anyway. And the Warriors looked pretty strong last year defensively. And unfortunately the the defensive the, the defensive patterns for North Queensland man just um it's not on point at the moment. It's not on point at the moment, but um hey their attack is uh it's just frustrating, man. Like it was two years ago that I thought it's the best offensive season for the North Queensland Cowboys we've seen almost ever. At times, yeah, it was the best defensive, defensive performance ever. Um, and then the past two years or the past 18 months, I should say, it just hasn't reared its head again at all, especially this season. Um, so it's like, where, 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 where is it gone? You guys found it. You guys did it. Where is it now? Where is it gone? Um, so that's, yeah, I'm not completely happy um, with the performance today. I don't think any, any of them would be completely happy just quietly. But Titans, man, they, they were on from the get-go. Uh, they, yeah, they were absolutely on for the get-go. Alrighty. Um, but anyway, not about that game. I'm talking about Raiders and Eels right now. Andrew Backhouse says this this game is hard to watch as a para fan. Oh, Jay Hayes. Once again, cheers for the commentary, mate. Grab a few beers. I'm sure BK will see this and port it. Mate, you are too kind. Mate, you are you are too kind. Thank you very much, dude. That um that means that that, that that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen and we'll try and get some stats up from that game. It's been a good game to watch. It hasn't been an ugly, trudging game, but it's been a, it's been okay. Alrighty. The 13 points to nil at halftime. Chris and Savage have been the try scorers. Jamal Fogarty has been immense with his kicking game. Sebastian Chris scores a try after a break was made by Ethan Strange, who then passed to Hudson Young from the halfway point. And Hudson Young could have scored himself, but I felt like he was thinking he wanted to see Simi Sasangi score. Uh, so he flicked it to Sasangi. Sasangi was going down. He was wrapped up by Simonson or Brown, I think it was. And he was able to get a flick away. And Chris was just there at the right time. Uh, so that was the try to Sebastian Chris. Hudson Young nearly absolutely bombed it. And then Xavier Savage from the 28th minute, the Raiders, both times, both tries have come against the run of play. Xavier Savage scoring a try from his own 30-meter line, and he was just able to find the space. He was running diagonally. He was cutting across the grain and hopping and sopping and propping, uh, and he ran 70 meters to score a try, a really a really, really great try uh, to watch. So we'll go into this te the team stats now, uh, and I'll just refresh it one more time. So possession at halftime is 52 to 48. thought maybe it might have been a little bit bigger to the Raiders, but anyway, uh, completion rates, uh, they're approximately the same, but because the Raiders have had more of the pill, uh, the completion rates look a bit better, but both can improve. Both can definitely improve. Uh, the run meters, there's almost 200 run meters between them two. Post-contact meters, yeah, the, the post-contact meters, the Paramount Eels are winning in that department. The Eels are making meters, bro. They, they are definitely getting out of trouble, not with ease, but they're getting out of trouble, bro. And it's just their, their errors that are just absolutely killing them at the moment. Uh, so while they're winning post-contact meters are the Eels. The tackle breaks 18-11 to the Canberra Raiders. Uh, the offloads are relatively the same. Uh, so are the kicking meters just quietly. So I guess that's a credit to Dylan Brown. Uh, but I think Fogarty's just been so, so much more lethal. So, so much more lethal. 
Um, and missed tackles at 17 to 12, relatively even, but there you go. The penalties conceded five to one. I think six against as well uh, would be up there against the Parramatta Eels too. Um, so yes, yes, indeed. Alrighty, so just going to bring up the chat again. Uh, oh, yo, Jay, he's very well respected. Oh dear. It's all happening in the chat at the moment. It's all happening in the chat at the moment. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get myself a, a bit of water. I'm just going to be back in a moment. Okay. I'll be back in a moment.
Oi. 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 There it is. All righty. Howdy, everyone. 13 points to nil at halftime. Thank you for allowing me to go just chill out for a bit. To be honest with you, I've had one hour of sleep. I was working night shifts last night, so I'm just a little bit buggered at the moment. So I'm a little bit flat, flatter than usual. All righty. We're going to get the banner up underway. After, you know. Alrighty. So no, I'm not counting out the Parramatta Eels um, at this stage. Absolutely not. 13-0 um, is absolutely nothing and it can be um, brought back in. It can be reined in uh, inside 10 minutes or so, man. So in Parramatta Eels, I'm telling Brown, he's looked okay. He's looked okay. Just want to say thank you uh, again to BKR for having me on his channel. And uh, I hope I hope you guys are enjoying the, the stream so far. And um, yeah, hopefully he can, hopefully he'll allow me back on. And I reckon um, maybe co-commentary, if he's ever up for it, uh, would, be, uh, would be great uh, to do either on my channel or, or on his channel. Co-commentary stream with BKR and myself, I reckon that'd go all right. So... Um, the Raiders run back out. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh my goodness. Uh, Nathan, uh, Nath J, thank you very much for uh, subscribing. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, just trying to think or if there's going to be a live stream from me next week. Um, I'm going to be pretty hectic next week, but I'll see what I can do. Uh, Steve, where's BKR? He's up in Townsville, melting, I'm sure. Um, as play resumes now, Raiders receive from the kickoff. Horsburgh charges into the Eels' defense. He's going to be stopped on the left edge of GIO. And he's Hudson Young with the second hit up now. Eels stopping the Raiders uh, on the 15-meter line. Second tackle. Ball comes in field. Here's Morgan Smithies now. Stopped heavily by Junior Bolo. Excuse me. Uh, and Levi darts out a dummy up a little bit before he passes to Basami Solo up over the 20 meter line. Fourth tackle. Levi darts a little bit again. Jordan Rappin is back out on the paddock. Well, if you don't friggin' mind, umpire, he plays the ball. Fogarty from deep inside his own 40. Kicks it and it comes down on the 20 meter line with Clint Gutherson. He gets up over the 30. And plus five meters. So good territory here for the Parramatta Eels. Brown waits at dummy half, passes right, finds Mike Acevo. He's able to get up over the 40 meter line. Lusick passes right. Russell. Russell up to halfway. The third tackle. Often Gowie and Junior Paolo are playing uh, short passing games together, and Paolo gets up to the 40 meter line. Often Gowie makes a good 10 meter plus carry, a 15 meter carry actually. Last tackle now. They're about 25 meters out. Other parameter Eels. Brown got to be a good kick here. Able to run a little bit. He puts it up. And it's taken well there from Rapana. Wow, we. Tough, tough game from him. Uh, tough, tough catch from him, man. Uh, so I believe that Schiller, that's up to the 10 meter line. Here's Matt Timiko. Oh, he threatened to break the line, uh, but the Eels were there to stop him. Third tackle now. Leave, uh, Fogarty goes out left. Strange. Hudson Young. It's a good defensive set here from the Parramatta Eels. Morgan Smithies out the back to Fogarty. Passes even further right to Arad Moriota before he gets an offload back to Fogarty. Now it's in Timiko's hands. Now it's down to Schiller's hands. They're going to break away again from deep inside their own territory. Matt Timiko puts the step on Clint Gutherson. He fits away from Dylan Brown again. Oh, I don't know if he scored or if maybe if he's bombed it, but they've just made a huge, huge run from deep inside their own territory. Dylan Brown may have merry-go-round Matt Timiko 
out over the sideline. But Timiko's strength, and he might have scored. He might have scored anyway. That came again from nothing when the Parramatta Eels had the momentum at that stage. Started out on the left edge inside their own 30, found its way all the way on the right edge. Schiller made a break inside his own 40, passed it left, found Timiko. Timiko beats Gutho. And then Brown just holds on to him like a pit bull. Timiko leaps. Oh, and it's a try from Timiko. Dylan Brown did his best to make sure Timiko went out over the sideline via a, a slinging merry-go-round kind of a tackle. And Dylan Brown is arguably the best defensive half in the game today. But again, Timiko's power, his strength, man. He's such a good player and he's still so freaking young. But Timiko rides the momentum Brown was taking him on. And he's able to just have the wherewithal to know where to put the ball down in the corner. A wild try, man. Another, sh another wild try from the Raiders. Fogarty now from the extreme right edge. Shoots. Is it coming back in? No, it's going to stay out to the right-hand side. 17 points to nil. Again, from absolutely nothing. Just going to update things. All righty. Well, it's all happening in the chat. It's all happening in the chat. I'll leave that alone. Thank you to the 62 people that are watching this uh, right now as Savage takes it from the kickoff, passes right for Hawes, Brian. Oh, damn, that's some heavy contact into the defense of Parramatta. Ball's in the hands of Solo. Makes approximately five meters or so. Smithies passes right on second or third tackle, I should say. And it's in the hands of Mariotta. Levi goes back left and Smithies now. Tough carry into the defensive line. Coaches just are up on screen at the moment. They're just up on screen at the moment. And it's a penalty now. It's a penalty to the Raiders. Oh man, a leg up indeed. Absolutely hit the thumbs up, guys. Absolutely. Everybody, the, the 61, 62 people that are in here, hit the thumbs up and come over and check out my channel. And um, yeah, I promise I won't let this down, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, we've got Cagebird Keating. Raiders are raiding, baby. Absolutely. Absolutely, they are. All righty. So Solo takes the hit up. Raiders already, all of a sudden, are 41 meters out. That looks like it's a 6-1 penalty count. Matt Timiko. It's second tackle. The Raiders are 32 meters out. Levi passes left, finds Horsbra. Horsbra able to make 12 plus meters in the end. Third tackle, center field. 20 meters out. Levi goes left, finds Smithies. Smithies to Strange, a nice pass to Rapina, but Rapina's pass goes behind Savage and the Paramount Eels, they survive, man. It's not an insurmountable lead here for the Raiders. Um, so they'll be disappointed with that. But wow. Uh, yo, uh, we've got uh, another donation. Uh, I'm a para fan. I'm not ashamed to admit how bad we are. Well, mate, you... <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's still there for you, but thank you very much for the seven ninety nine dollar donation. Uh, BKR Sport will um, buy himself a a beer with that one for sure. Um, thank you very much for the donation, there, man. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, so Parramatta Eels now they got to score here. They got to get things underway. Um, as somebody uh, in the comments section before said, they've had a good handful, like a strong handful of chances in attacking positions, and every time they've just about 
just dropped the ball cold, really. So second tackle here, Brown, he puts Luca Moretti back under. I hope that's Moretti, man. I hope I'm getting that right. Oh, man. Uh, yep. All righty. So Lassic passes right. Brown passes left. Off and Gowie, they're about seven meters out are the Eels. Third tackle, Brown. Passes left. Gutherson midfield. A long double man cut out pass to Marcus Sevo. And Sevo is going to score. Paramount Eels do find themselves on the board. All righty. Careful. Careful here. The faders. Are they going to rear their ugly head or are they going to stick firm? Yeah, Gutherson. Double cutout pass to Mike Acevo over the top. And Schiller just didn't, yeah, caught himself just a little bit too, too infield against Mike Acevo. He went for the intercept play, but good pass from Gutho. 17 points to four. Kick to come. Alrighty. And that field goal might prove to be very, very important as well. Uh, from Jamal Fogarty. Taken right at halftime. All right, Gutho. Out left. 20 meters out. He shoots. Oh, and it stays right. But still... They're on the board, Parramatta Eels. Down by 13 with 30 minutes to go. It's game back on. It's very much game back on. 17 points to four. Half an hour to go. Markham is happy. Go para. Greetings from Papua New Guinea. Greetings from Papua New Guinea, mate. Howdy, man. Thank you very much for uh, dropping by and saying good day. Hope you're enjoying the game and thank you for uh, checking out the um, the stream. Thank you. Uh, para play like we don't matter, but Canberra fade, faders are brilliant. Oh, nice charge into the line. Uh, I think that was from Junior Polo. All righty. Steve wants to see a filthy bomb this year. A fitty bomb. A filth a fitty bomb. Oh, I thought it said filthy. A, you want to see a filthy bomb this year. A fitty bomb. Maybe one day. Oh, I think Horsburgh has done something to his groin. All righty. So Joe off and Gowie now. Up over the 40 meter line. Fourth tackle. Center field. Last it goes left. Finds Gutherson. And he just takes a hit up. Would have liked to have seen a little bit more um, on fourth play. Last it goes left again. Brown kicks from 42 meters away. Rapid is underneath it, takes it on his own in goal, but uh, and is met very quickly there. It's a good kick chase there from Sean Lane uh, and Bailey Simonson, who's not having too bad of a game, actually. James Schiller up over the 10 meter line. No bullshit here from Para, hey? Fair dinkum. Matt Timico, though, arguably man of the match so far. I think Morgan Smithies might have him beat just quietly, though. Uh, now, long cutout pass to Strange on the left-hand side. He's stepping off his left a couple of times, able to beat uh, Blaze Talungi and a couple of different men. Hanson, uh, Hudson Young has got ball in hand and he cut out pass to Chris. Uh, and all of a sudden, they're making more meters from deep inside their own territory. Savage now, a good quick 10-meter carry. Oh, Parramatta Eels, they're not shutting them down, coming out of trouble. The defensive, the, the defensive set after points... It's all well and good that they completed it, but the defensive set after points, man. Oh, they didn't shut him down, did they? Mike Acevo, second tackle, says g'day. Uh, and Jamal Fogarty says g'day back. Uh, 20 meter, uh, play, play the ball on 20 meter line. Lane, able to get up to 30. Lane's been okay. He's been okay. Uh, Lussick passes right, finds Penasini. I think Penasini has been quiet too, just quietly. And Lussick passes left. Brown, short ball to Lane. And it's last tackle here. Lussick passes right. He finds Dylan Brown again. Puts in a big bomb cross field. And it's just going to just wobble over the 
touch and goal line. So seven tackles here with the tap on the 20 meter line here for uh, the Canberra Raiders. Oh, and I think from the tap, Rapida, he was taken a little high there. So here's zero tackle and Savage now with ball in hand up over the 30. The Raiders are on the left and they're running left to right as well. And the phase goes down the short side again. Hudson Young uh, able to offload from his own 40 to Savage. Savage steps off his left. He offloads. Levi passes right to Tarpany. Tarpany now. Whoa. Taken down there by Dylan Brown. Rapina darts out a dummy off to the left-hand side. Makes about eight meters or so after halfway. And Levi comes back right. Tarpany passes to Fogarty. Fogarty puts Tam Timiko back under. And Timiko nearly breaks the tackle. Fourth tackle now. Levi left. Smithies. Strange. Strange. Cut out pass to Chris. Flat ball to Savage. Kick in by Savage. And Danny Levi's there to score a try. I think it was pretty flat from Chris to Savage. But what a wild try again. They are scoring some wonderful tries this Savo or this evening. But the video referee is taking up as a no try. So I'm not too sure what they're looking at here. Um, as I've got the audio down. Oh, dear. HPT says, I swear my 89-year-old grandma. Oh, with, oh, okay. 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 Okay, she must be absolutely insane then, mate. She must be brilliant. All right. So looking to see if Danny Levi's on side. And he's admonishing himself, Danny Levi. To be fair, if this does get taken back and it does look like it's about to... I think it was a forward pass anyway, so. Raiders are killing him. They're absolutely killing him coming out of trouble, man. And Eels just are not doing a good enough job of limiting their meters. Um, they, 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 the, the Eels did it a couple of times. Um, no? Now Levi is saying, Hala friggin' Lulia. Hala Hallelujah. Hala All righty, try time. Well, Danny Levi might be having his best year in first grade to date at the moment. I don't know what you guys reckon about that, but Danny Levi's had a blockbuster start to the season just quietly. Um, just... Strange and Savage and Chris as well. Savage putting in the crossfield kick for Levi. And Ricky Stewart, Sticky Stewart, is absolutely elated with that as well. Man, 21 points to four with a kick to come. And if Parramatta Eels are deflated now, the Raiders could really put up a cricket score because the Eels are just not shutting them down um, inside Raiders territory, man. Like when it gets to the 30 metre line, the Raiders are just clicking into gear and just going warp speed. And the Eels are just at sixes and sevens as Fogarty's conversion is successful. The score now, after 54 minutes of play, is 23 points to four. 23 points to four after 54 minutes. Big Red is out on the sideline. Looks like potentially it's been a groin injury that's going to keep him off the field. And Slava makes a very interesting comment here. Raiders don't even miss Whiten at the moment. No, no, they don't. As a matter of fact, one would say that maybe last season, Whiten kind of hampered them, dampened them a little bit 
Uh, we got Do Ding Thomas. Uh, Ilsa, the biggest. Oh, okay. Um, all righty. All righty. So the Raiders now. Third tackle. Center field, 25 meters out. Morgan Smithies has been gigantic for Canberra. Fourth tackle, 33. And Jordan Ruppin takes it up to the 40 meter line. Last tackle, 40 meters out. Fogarty puts it sky high. It's coming down on the 30 meter line. Sebo takes it well. Oh, and Adam Mariotta drives Sebo back five more meters or so. Eels start on the 20 meter line. It's panic stations here from the Eels. You can tell because they're starting to offload a bit. The the ferocity is just, or the velocity has just picked up a bit too. Gutherson from dummy half passes right. He finds Sean Russell. It's third tackle. Well done, Eels. They're already up to about halfway. Lusick passes right, finds Campbell Gillard, and they're up over halfway. Hopefully, Gillard, Campbell Gillard can change the game because he had a great start to the game too. Blaze Talungi now running himself. Gets up to the 30-meter line, a little bit beyond it. I'd say they're about 28 meters away from the try line. Lusick passes left. Gillard, Hopgood, Brown, they've got a kick. It's last tackle. He runs. Gutherson receives it, puts in a cross-field kick or some sort of kick, but it's in the hands of Rappinen now. He's up over the 20, up over the 30. Can he beat? Oh, he cannot get away from Jermaine Hopgood. They're five meters away from the halfway line. Mariotta's down. Schiller's got the ball in hands. Up over the halfway line. Oh, and Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown. Oh, there again. Oh, and there's been a knock-on from Schiller. They were going to score if they didn't knock on just then, Raiders. They were going to absolutely score if Schiller didn't knock on. That's a shame, man. That's a freaking shame. Holy mackerel. That was bubbling away beautifully. But again, man, last tackle. And the first man with ball in hands is Regan Campbell-Gillard. And then it's Hopgood. And then Brown and Gutherson combined for a a chip kick back in field, and it found Rapina on the bounce. Man, I don't think a lot of people, in, including me, really appreciated how how good Mitch Moses is, or how important he is to the Parramatta Eels up until these past two weeks. A eh? and Moses has missed time. But the Eels always buoyed themselves um, a bit. But yeah, Mitch Moses is, uh, he is uh, the important cog to the machine. The Eels, man, for sure. As Regan Campbell Gillard offloads from his own 30 meter line to Hopgood. And oh, is there a case there for a man being tackled without the ball? Hudson Young, though, he's got the pill. Oh. I've no unearthly idea what just happened. There's a video referee decision incoming, but a man may have been taken without the ball. Hudson Young picked up a bouncing ball, offloaded back to Sean Lane, and Sean Lane has now crashed over for the Eels. So Tarpany definitely touches Lusick before he touches the pill, and I think play should, oh, I don't know if play should stop there, but and so the ball then pin pinballs around and this is the thing, like if like, do you got to go, it Hmm. What do you reckon? Uh, that key in man, or oh, that, that claim greetings from Montgomery, Alabama. Really enjoying this game. You call rugby, it's not as tough as explosive or as America's game, but still good for a second fiddle sport. Yo, dude. <laughs> well, well, g'day from Montgomery, Alabama. Thank you very much. And, um, 
I hope you're enjoying the stream and uh, that's that's incredible that um, you yourself are from Alabama. So thank you for choosing to uh, watch this stream and uh, I'm just a special co-host or I'm a special host uh, today as the main event is away up in Townsville, man. So that's awesome. That's, that's awesome, man. Thank you very much. I love NFL too, by the way. Go the Seahawks. Go the Seahawks. I know that BKR's Detroit Lions uh, went pretty bloody deep last year. But um, go the Seahawks. All righty. So it was a penalty to the Raiders. I don't know how they got to that decision since it was Lassick that was touched before. Anyway, play on Tarpany now. Raiders are now inside Eels territory. They're 40 meters away. Solo up to the 30 meter line. I'll get the banner up in just due, due course. Fogarty now, out the back to Rapina. Quick balls to Timiko and Schiller's just got an avenue of space to score. He does get his try. Oh, man, that was great to watch. Nice hands from the Raiders. 27 points to four with a kick to come out on the right edge. It started on the 30-meter line. Fogarty, Rapina, Timiko very quickly bats it on to Schiller, and Schiller scores. And there's 21 minutes remaining. Hang on tight here, Parramatta. You've got to. Oh, dear. Just go into the chat again, just while we're waiting for the conversion. <laughs> Jay, he's not from Alabama. He spells too good. Jay Hayes, and it's 4.40 in the morning. Try, try, try. Raiders are way better without White in. Oh, and Jay, he may have just said the big thing too. He, TJC will not be liking this. No. No, he will not be, mate. But what can you do? Yeah, they're not missing Jack White at all, are they, man? Ethan Strange. He's come in like a house on fire. And I've said it all off season. I've said it for the past couple of weeks. The Raiders were the most unpredictable team for me to try and uh, lock down on all year. Like, they're a team that could have finished 15th or fifth is Jamal Fogarty's conversion uh, sprays across the face. Um, but they're a team that they were going to finish 15th or fifth. And at the moment, they're the surprise packet, I would suggest. Um, I know Dolphins are up there on top of the ladder or close enough to. I know Cowboys are up there again. But a lot, a lot of people had the Raiders down there in the bottom four. And eventually I had to fall on putting them in my bottom four and got egg all over me freaking face, man. The Raiders are just, uh, this is such a good, good performance, especially after last week's capitulation. As Solo runs back into the defensive line. Savage darts out a dummy half. It gets up to the 25. Plays the ball. Levi passes right. Morgan Smithies. Up to the 30 meter line. I haven't stopped calling his name all freaking game. Smithies plays the ball on the 30 meter line. Tarpany, Mariotta. And Mariotta gets to the 40 meter line. Fourth tackle, center field. Levi waits. Oh, no, he darts down the dummy half to the right hand side. Cut out past to Timiko. Timiko is fending off blokes, stepping off his right foot. Able to break the line. Passes left to Hudson Young. And from again. Deep within their own territory, the Raiders score again. Oh, man, what a performance from the Green Machine. Holy mackerel. Get this into ya. Sorry, Raiders. Man. From, the four, from their own 40, Levi darts out a dummy half. Finds Timiko on the right, and Timiko fends off from Lusick and Brown. And 
Paul Hudson Young. Struess. Uh, is TJ seeing Canberra for this game? He'll be looking for the exits now. <laughs> Eels. Eels are so bad and he loves it. Cage Bird Keating, speed is key, baby. Nath J, this is a good old fashioned ass whooping. Uh, have you been to India? We'll we'll get the <laughs> we'll get this into ya. Yo, get it India, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Have you been to India? We'll get this India. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Very good. Very good. This is getting ugly, man. Is there a who said it before? Are you still watching? Is there a fitty bomb on the way? Are they going to score 50 on the Eels? Because there's 18 minutes to go, dude. And they're leaking like a sieve. Are we going to see a fitty bomb? Holy smokes. The right they're going. They're scoring 40. All right, kickoff. Savage takes it, passes right. Here's Solo with oh, a massive run into Junior Polo, I think it was, or Regan Campbell-Gillard. Yeah. Gregan uh, Campbell-Gillard. Here's Hudson Young. This is Hudson Young's best game of the season too, just quietly. Not just quietly. This is Hudson Young's best game of the year so far. Uh, Starling's now out on the paddock. So Levi's had a great game. And now Starling fresh as a daisy, looking to be, well, Stricky Stewart's looking to be absolutely merciless right now on the Parramatta Eels. Rappiner plays the ball center field. Starling passes left to Morgan Smithies. Alrighty, so let's see what they've got defensively here, Canberra. Smithies plays the ball. Starling finds Fogarty. Fogarty puts it high. Looks like it's coming down on the 20-meter line. Sevo takes it, gets up to the 30, bumps off Starling. And the Eagles, they got the pill again. Gutherson passes right. Russell gets to the 40. Second tackle. They're out on the right edge. And here's Will Penasini. Have not heard him, have not seen him. A hell of a lot in this game. Lusick passes left. Hopgood. Campbell Gillard. The Eels now, they're 30 meters out from the try line. And it's fourth tackle. Center field. And Lusick goes left. Brown runs, passes to Gutherson, pops it to Simonson. They're now 10 meters out from the try line are the Eels. Gutherson passes right. He finds Dylan Brown. It's a Kick and taken very well by Xavier Savage. Red alert, red alert Savage takes the tap on the 20-meter line. He's able to find Silla in the up to the 40-meter line. Oh, here we go, Raiders. Uh, Fogarty passes left. Varpana able to get up to the halfway line. It's tackle one. And Starling passes right. Fogarty, Timiko, that man Timiko. Given his opposite number of bath tonight, both Brown and Simonson. Starling finds Schiller, who's a little bit infield. And it's third tackle. Momentum's just come to a bit of a slow at the moment. Starling left, finds Tarpane. He steps off his left foot and cuts across and comes into the 30 or goes over the 30 meter line. They're about 27 meters out here. Fogarty, fourth kick, puts. Fourth tackle kick in. It's just a bit too big and goes over the dead ball line, unfortunately. Or is Gutherson... Oh, I don't know what's going on. There's a Raiders fan giving Gutho an absolute spray. So it's going to be a 20-meter tap here for the Eels. No, it's going to be a goal line dropout. Okay. Okay. I just, okay. Oh, what a catch from Schiller. 
What a huge catch from Schiller. That was that was a huge leap from the man. Fogarty now. Put Smithies back under. If anyone deserves a try, it's that bloke. Surely there was two in the tackle. Yes, there was. There was a strip and there was two in the tackle. But there's the challenge coming from Gutho. I'm sure there was two in the tackle. The short goal line dropout was taken. And Schiller leapt enormously high. Strip comes now. Oh, to be really blunt with you, is the Hopgood stripped it. The pelvis of another Parramatta player was definitely on Smithies. And it's play on, seemingly. Challenge successful. The pelvis of a Parramatta player prevented Canberra scoring some more points. Second tackle. Center field. Greg plays it and finds grass. Finds an error for the Parramatta Eels. Coming from Blaze Talangi, you poor young bugger. You don't deserve that, mate. You poor bugger. But they're replaying, yeah, they're replaying this take from Schiller, who landed, I would say, heavily on his right side. And Lassick passed to the nowhere man, and the ball bounced up off the grass, and Talangi made the error. So the Raiders now, they're 20 metres out. The 79 people that are in here, holy crap. Thank you very much for choosing Wobble and uh, Big Hour Sport. Um, uh, and I'm Wobble and Jaw Sport. Uh, come over and check out my channel. Uh, when this game is all said and done. Hudson Young now, second tackle up to the 10 meter line. And play the ball comes. It's center field. Starling, oh, ball batted out by a Parramatta Eel player. And it's a penalty uh, to the Raiders. So, and Hopgood was offside at marker. So, what's the call? No, they're just going to go for, for the two here. Oh, that's a shame, man. Um, you know, just kill the time, I guess. But they were they were coming. Um, Nath J. Jeeves Raiders are steamrolling through the Eels. They are. They were. Well, time out. The nanny. Nice Jay. Para's pelvis is <laughs> what I do. Uh, damn you, Para. I wanted to fade his performance. Can someone check on Entertain House as well? Yes. Yes, indeed. Someone put the call out. Get the bat signal out for Entertain House. Canberra says hi. Says the house. Very good. Excuse me. All righty. Fogarty shoots and he scores the scoreline updates to 35 points to four. And it's 12 minutes remaining. I don't think there's going to be time. I don't think there's going to be time for a fitty bomb. But they're giving possession back to the Raiders. Play says, saw Parramatta was getting flogged, so he had to join. Oh, man. Uh, a house wearing masks makes me feel like George. Whoa, man. Holy. God. <laughs> that, that's. So cool. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. So, resumption commences and Solo gets up to the, gets up to the 10 meter line. Oh, man. You're wrong for that, dude. Um, Plays the ball, solo plays the ball. Chris starts at a dummy half and gets up to the 15 meter line. Starling passes right, finds Smithies up over the 20. And here we go. What are the Raiders going to do here from inside their own territory? Because they've been killing it all night. Tarpane just carts it forward. Can you get the offload away? No. Play the ball center field on the 30 meter line. Starling passes left. Oh, Fogarty was going for the 40 20, but he dropped it. Unfortunately, 
Yeah, he was thinking ruthless. He was he was thinking merciless. Alrighty. Well, the game is gone for Parramatta, but they can put a bit of respectability back onto the board for the try here. But there's just been zero polish, hey. Almost zero polish from the Eels today. All right. From the scrum, ball's in the hands of Simonson. He's going to play the ball on the left edge. Eels running right to left. And through Sean Lane, they get up over the 20-meter line. They're now 15 meters out here are the Eels. Classic. Passes right. Finds Hopgood. I thought that was flat. We're going to move Greg. Or Greek, I should say. We'll get up, play the ball. Lusick passes back in field to the left, finds Hopgood. Hopgood has worked very hard tonight, and he's earned a six again for his team. All right, so fresh set of six. Right in front of the sticks. And the ball's in the hands of Brown. Pops a short ball off to Lane. And what's the call here? He flicked it. It looks like a fresh set of six is coming in for the... Eels, or no, it's just playing on. Second tackle, Hopgood. Passes to Grieg. And he's taken down to the turf. Third tackle, they're a bit right of the goal sticks. Bit to the right of the goal sticks. Hopgood passes left, finds Gutherson. Brown, long double man cut out pass to Sivo. And Schiller, unfortunately, couldn't hit and stick. And Sivo, able to beat his man and crash over to score a try for the Parramatta Eels. So... A little bit more respectability back onto the board now. 35 points to eight with a kick to come. I'll just update Banner. All right, so there's under nine minutes remaining. Still time for Canberra to at least put 40 on, but the Fiddy Bomb is now gone. Yeah, they're having fun out there in Canberra tonight, I'm sure, bro. Mardu. Hey, hey, Mardu. How you doing, man? On the bright side, 37 years. What's one more? It's a bit like that at the moment, isn't it? It's a bit like that. Sorry, Eels fans. Uh, this rate is way too good, bro. Way, way too good today. And Guthrie from the sideline shoots and it just fades away to the right-hand side. So it remains 35 points to eight. Now with under eight minutes to go. What do you reckon? Will we see one more try from either side? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet that maybe Raiders will score one more try. How good are the Cowboys? Yeah, they're, they're okay. They're okay at the moment. Oh, and the kick's gone out on the full from the Raiders. Okay, so Paramount Eels, they... Get a bit out of jail card, is uh, get a jail uh, and out of jail card themselves. Raiders are a real threat this year if they keep playing like this. Yes, yes, they are, mate. Absolutely. Even if you're the pan, oh, I don't I probably shouldn't say Panthers, but then again, they lost on the weekend. I think this is Kalmatua Lungi's first bit of play with only seven minutes remaining. That's his first touch of the game. Oh, Lee. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know if, about premiership threat, but you don't want to take him on, do you? Brown! All right, so third tackle in front of the sticks. Lassick goes right, hop good, dummies and takes the hit up himself. Can he get the offload off? No, he's brought down to the grass. Lassick continues to go out right, and the ball comes bouncing off Kelmatu Alangi. And it's going to be... Uh, 
a 20 meter restart, I think it is. Why is Tua Lungi A? Eh? Why is Tua Lungi only just getting onto the field with seven minutes remaining? Because I tell you what, I don't think, honestly, unless if there's an injury that came his way, I don't think Ryan Madison did a whole lot tonight, too, just quietly. Uh, Savage now, he's, he's done a lot. All right, six minutes to go. Fogarty passes right, finds Mariotta. He's toiled tonight himself. Starling passes left, finds Schiller. Plays the ball, center field. Just short of halfway. Finds Smithies, Smithies. Hudson Young was very, very deep there. He takes the tackle. Raiders now 40 meters away. Starling darts out a dummy after the right-hand side. Wanted someone to run back under him, but no one was willing. Starling plays the ball. Fogarty passes right, finds Tarpany. Tarpany short ball to Papali out there for the last six and a half minutes or so, or five minutes, I should say. And then now 20 meters away. Last tackle. Ball goes right. Rapina. Timiko. Oh, and Timiko is going to get wrapped up here. So Raiders hoping to box him in. Hey, Wobbling. Uh, happy Cowboys are doing well. Thoughts and prayers to my countryman and his injuries. Absolutely. Absolutely. So as we see the Paramount Eels take the ball up. Uh, yeah, if Zach if Zach Laybutt is out with an ACL injury, that's yet to be confirmed. Um, yeah, that's that's a large blow, but the depth of the Cowboys is good because uh, we got young Semi Valame, got Viliami Vilea as well, waiting in the wings, both pretty solid in their own right. Uh, so yeah, and. Now that I'm thinking about it too, and now that I just saw what's up ahead, Cowboys versus Parramatta next week at Combank Stadium. That, uh, yeah, that's, oof, I'll talk about that in due course. Uh, it's Parramatta now. Last tackle, balls bouncing around everywhere. And Regan Campbell Gillard's got it. He offloads it to Lusick. Lane's got the ball now, 30 meters out, puts in a grab a kick. And Hudson Young finds himself out on the right edge, defending as like a winger center. Unfamiliar territory for him. And Paul Motuno, or Motuno, I should say. Uh, Zach Hosking is uh, a missing piece of the action. And Elliot Whitehead as well. So while the Eels have got their own, oh my goodness, while they've got their own uh, problems with injuries, so do to the Raiders. Uh, third tackle now. Rapina puts Sasangi back under. Holy crap. He was he was hit high, wasn't he? He was crunched there by Regan Campbell Gillard. And with three minutes to go now, the Raiders are going to have a fresh set of six here. All righty. Can they take their fans home? Extremely happy now. Can they get to 40? Can the Camber Raiders? So Regan Campbell Gillard on report too. That helps for the Cowboys next week. So 30 meter line. Timiko taps, passes left. Fogarty cut out pass to Starling. Starling finds Smithies. Besides Fogarty, I think I've got to say, well, I think Smithies and Timiko and Fogarty would be my top three uh, players on ground tonight. Uh, Papaliti now plays the ball. 20 meters out, passes right, Tarpani, passes to Fogarty, Rapana, Rapana, Rapana keeps fighting. He flick passes and it's, I would say, knock on Parramatta, unless if a challenge is coming here from uh, Gutho. But it was Rapana who was fending off Brown. Rapana flicked and then Polo knocked the ball on. It wasn't Paulo. I'm sorry. I'd... I'm that freaking tired. I'm starting to go cross-eyed. All right. So Raiders, press set of six, 10 meters out, center field right in front of the sticks. Fogarty feeds. It goes out left via Starling. Sebastian Chris steps off his left and he makes five meters or so. 
Less than two minutes remaining. Starling passes right out the back to Tarpane. Flat ball to Papali'i. Papali'i, can he get the offload away? No, no, he can't. Second tackle. Center field. Starling goes right, continues to right. And Simi Sasari flicks out the back. Ball's bouncing and Simiko scores the try. It's going to go up to the video referee though. I'm sure. But wow. Simiko has been the danger man all freaking game as well. And he wraps things up with a try himself. I'm so sorry about my visuals today, guys. I'm so sorry, man. Um, but as long as the audio has come across all right. So Simi, Simi Susangi. Oh, I don't know, man. This might get taken back. Yeah, it was punched out by Gutho. Just waiting for confirmation. Yeah. All right. So we got confirmation. All righty. Put that down as a try assist to click Gutherson, I suppose. Punched out by Gutho. And just fell in the lap of Matt Timiko, sort of. So for 41. Bogarty shoots. And he scores 41 to 8. Uh, I don't think anyone had that on their bingo card tonight, man. Uh, yeah, pretty disappointing. So there's 40 seconds remaining as well. It'd be great to see the Raiders show another trick play. But Sticky's happy, man, and so he should. They've played some sparkling footy tonight, man. I think this win too, just quietly, maybe because of for and against, I think this puts, oh, the Raiders clap is going on. They're loving it big time down there. Alrighty, Savage takes it. And Papali'i steams into the defense. 30 seconds remaining. Are the Raiders going to do a trick shot? Savage darts out a dummy half. Oh, he's copped an elbow by Regan Campbell Gillard. Rapina chucks the ball at his melon. Oh, Savage copped a clip to the face from Campbell Gillard. Holy. He was fallen, but savage. Well, 12 seconds to go. I seriously doubt that there will be any more points. Well, it looks like Campbell Gillard's going to sit out next week. Chris Taps. Runs it halfway. Can he get up and play the ball quick enough? Noop. A pretty stunning scoreline. 41 points to eight. Raiders over the Eels. Wow, way. Uh, Jay Hayes, audio and visuals are fine. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, my dude, it's all good. The score is the main thing we need to see. The audio is great. Uh, <laughs> my dude, close game. Could have gone either way. Could have. Um, all right, Nath J. In the 70s, the clap was huge in Canberra. 
fantastic, mate. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, fish would have been rife with it, bro. Absolutely rife with it. Um, yo, alrighty. Um, well, we'll leave it there, man. That was a comprehensive win for the Canberra Raiders. I hope you enjoyed this stream. Uh, thank you very much to everyone that tuned in, uh, for the people that uh, donated tonight. And um, wow, Raiders uh, 41, Parramatta Eels 8. Uh, some sparkling footy from the boys from the nation cap nation's capital. And um, yeah, please subscribe if you're new around here on BKR Sports channel and then sip on over to mine uh, and hope I can get you to consider to like and subscribe to the content over there. So hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, and again, thank you BKR for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Adios, guys.